on the feed. So let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Carmen almost jumped at Big Boogie Concert. What's going on? Why call us when you tired? You want us, you want me to stop calling? I'm tired all the time. You want me to stop calling precious? Huh? You get over here and work. You get over here and work and, 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 and let me know if you tired or not. I'm tired. It was either don't call y'all, go to sleep, or call y'all. I call y'all, you still not happy. I'm sick of it. Can't please none of you women. 95% women subscribe to me. Yo, you can stop it. Don't test me. I'm tired. Enjoy these videos. Carmen almost gets jumped at Big Boogie's concert. Can I get a picture? Yeah, I want to get a picture. Okay, my me, I did. I just want a picture. Can I get my mama phone? This my mama phone. Why are they able to get that close? I never understand. When she said, who pulled my hair? And that girl said, I did. That told Carmen three things. <laughs> she admitted to it. I ain't even finna go there with her because I might get jumped. Literally. That's number one. Number two, uh, I'm not about to sit here and fight none of y'all. Okay. So, knowing Boogie's music. He out there with some ratchet women, okay? Karma wasn't trying to get her ass whooped. And, and, and rightfully so. But that's why she should have her own security right there with her, okay? So it's two girls standing there. It's one girl with the phone trying to get a picture. And then it's another girl filming, trying to get a viral moment and start with Carmen. Now the girl who's trying to get the picture, she's the one that pulled Carmen hair. Carmen turned around like, who pulled my hair? The girl said me, cause I'm trying to get a picture. So Carmen was just about to take her phone, but the girl who's trying to film and get a viral moment, she giving off a different type of energy, which Carmen started to peep. That's why she started backing up. She didn't even get to take the girl phone to take the picture. She already see the other girl on a different type of time. So Carmen, is backing up towards security but when Carmen backs up the security is thrown off because he like what's going on because he didn't even peep what was really going on so he's trying to figure it out so the girl who's trying to get the picture Big Boogie now peeps it because he hears somebody like what up what up so Big Boogie takes the girl phone that's trying to get the picture so he takes the picture thinking that okay maybe they'll you know go away no after he takes the picture the phone goes back to the girl but the girl who's trying to film and get a viral moment she's still on that what up what up what up so now Carmen is fully next to the security guard like <laughs> damn man trying to get behind him but what threw me off at first is big boogie peeped it why he ain't really saying nothing but then you are in a crowd so it's gonna get real ugly you know what i mean you don't know how this is gonna play out so many problems here because voice is completely right w one thing i noticed why is it one security guard now if that was the baby them girls would have been slapped all in through that club or oh, out there at that event uh, area. But see, y'all look at the baby like, why he slapping the hell out of all these women? Appreciate the gifts up, friend. Not the gifts up, the Reese up. Olive skin. Why are you... Why y'all, why he got to slap all the women? Because some of them be out there trying it. Somebody should have slapped them, okay? And that's why, if y'all ever see me out like out, like, if I decide, you know what, I'm going to go to an event, I'm going to have security. Don't ever think I wouldn't. Don't ever think it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Artillery throughout. 
I just got to make sure you watch my front, you watch my back, and I can handle the rest. You know what I'm saying? Uh Uh-uh. For real. So I get what he was trying to do. So what I'm trying to say, if I was Carmen, please, security would be a bill. He was trying to see first what Carmen was going to do. And I think the security guard was trying to see what Carmen was going to do too. And when they realized she wasn't on that type of time, they tried to throw it off by taking a picture. But the girl who actually posted the video, she captioned the video. She said, B, you get beat up for blaming on me, for blaming me for pulling your fake hair. Carmen's scary, scary. Now, another lady who was backstage would be like, you see what I'm saying? You will get beat up. What? Boogie for blaming me for pulling. You will get beat up for blaming it on me for blaming your pulling your fake hair when you was the one who did pull my hair. So you want to fight me because you actually did pull my hair and I'm calling it out. People are. You're a police. Pulling your fake hair. Carmen's scary, scary. Now, another lady I'll be scary. Back- Let me be that. I'd rather be scary, scary than with a fine, fine or getting Amen. sued. Like, what are we talking about? So I've and been it seeing was a my video from the Big Boogie concert. Go what are we talking about? Whatnot. And yeah, that was me who pulled her hair, bro. But see, look, the way y'all trying to perceive it and make it out to be like it was beef or something, I was on some fan out shit. No, I was trying to get that picture from my sister and my mama. You feel me? You see how he was trying to take a picture with me? No, nah, nigga, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't in all that. Take a picture of you and your girl so my mama can sister. You feel me? So all that extra shit that y'all trying to do and say, I ain't no fan out there, group ass. I f- with his music, nevertheless. But don't put no dick riding on my name, shawty. You feel me? Straight I like f- with him. But this ain't that, you know what I'm saying? Big dude, you know what I'm saying? This ain't never nothing, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? But follow me on everything. Stop. That's crazy. Well, in other words, that's why Carmen looked like that. Turn, who pulled my hair? A stud talking about it. I did. Oh, girl, she ain't about to please. I get it. I, I really get it now. But that's that's another reason why she needs security. Backstage with Big For Boogie herself. and Carmen, who worked along with this event, she confirmed that the girl who was trying to get a viral moment got pause put on her. Someone said, can you explain? I'm confused. The lady who was working along with Big Boogie, she responded. She said, so there's a girl who stalks Boogie. She has him tatted everywhere and follows him city to city. She pulled Carmen here and basically said, what's up? Like to fight because Carmen was Big Boogie's guest later that night. The girl got beat up and thrown out. We're not going to say by who. Carmen, be careful, girl. I'm not saying I don't like Big Boogie, but understand this girl has friends and and you're out and about and you're chill. You don't have no security. You with your kids. Carmen is not that girl. She's not a fighter. She doesn't know how to peep out a scene before it happened. And she doesn't travel with security. So this girl can catch her by herself. And then what? You know what I mean? So it's just a lot going on. And it's- Carmen, stop traveling without security. That's that's number one. Carmen and Boogie is scared. That's why they put me out the club. That's why they abandoned me from the club. Because Carmen's scared of me. Like, why else would they put me out the club? Because she said I pulled her hair. Oh my God. If I did and she wasn't going to do nothing. Boo. Boo. Now that I'm on, I can pick and choose. I only f- with her who got sh- to lose. People will go to prison. To say that they was tough because they pulled your hair. Come. So now you scary. You out at a concert full of people you don't know. You ain't got no security, which is crazy, by the way. With women like this who got shit to lose, I mean, who don't have nothing to lose. She don't give a damn. Okay. I wouldn't have done that either, but I would have had security. Can you imagine if Carmen would have been like, what's up? Do y'all know how left that would have gone? Please. I uh, call me scary. I am <laughs> shivering. She acted all scared and ran behind snow. That was it. Like Boogie was going to say anything. Boogie didn't say nothing when I was cussing her out. Boogie was standing right there and snow was standing right there when I was cussing her out. So I don't want to hear nothing about nothing because she's not about that life. And if she felt like I pulled her hair, 
she should have swung on me then and there. So we could have banged it out then and there. But nah, she would rather go run and tell little Boogie and Snow that I pulled her hair. Okay. And Next. It's not just this girl, it's other girls too. So y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to this. Carmen responds to Danny. Carmen made the right decision. Closing publicly that she called Floyd, Carmen's manager, and told him to warn Carmen that Corey filed the CPS case against her. Now, the reason why Danny had Floyd numbers, because previously, allegedly, she used to date Floyd while he was married. But Carmen Post last night responded to Danny. She said, Hey, yo, I don't give a F who's saying this or that or doing this or that. Don't bring my kids up into ish. Long story short, yes, I didn't want nobody to know I had a CPS case. If he wanted to say it, oh well, he's known for speaking it all. Don't speak on something publicly, specifically if it's not your place you called my team and told him okay thank you why well, mention it on the net you wanted your flowers for being nice and giving out information all i'm saying is i'm always going to bark when it comes to my kids because now people using my kids pits for thumbnails with drama like be for real if other people are okay with people posting their kids pits on t pages for drama then that's dumb not me i'm gonna act how i want to act about mine danny responded i'm so lost now, i'm the one who called your manager so therefore you carmen you can't be talking tough if you ain't ready to fight okay However, uh, her being upset about it, I get it. I will say I'm on both sides because I feel like she should be grateful that Danny told her. She ain't have to tell her. Um... Yeah, that's, that's what I gotta say. You need to be more specific. I didn't have to make you aware of anything. So you should be thanking me for letting you know days before after he did it. Carmen responded to Danny. She said, Miss Danny, nobody knew about the CPS case that involved my kids until you said something publicly. It wasn't your place to say something, nor for the world to know. If it would have been someone else who said something, I would have reacted the same way. Danny responded back, Miss Percher, oh, hold on now. It wasn't my place to tell Floyd because at this point, I really regret even telling him. And the reason why I said something is because because y'all <laughs> Miss Pritchett <laughs> I needed to end that ish before they really got involved I never got into y'all BS and according to telling the world you told them everything else bashing the F out of him so why I can't bash him in peace girl I'm starting to see it's not just Corey Carmen responds back to Danny you bash him all you want to once again I don't give a F about nobody and who did or said what speaking on a case that involved my kids is involving me and now the whole world you cool people I don't have nothing against you all I'm saying is try to bash him don't involve my kids that's all someone said Carmen seemed like I don't think that's a hard ask. You're mad she was with Corey. She didn't come at you wrong once, just your baby daddy. Why else is she coming at a woman that didn't say anything bad about her kids, just their dad? Carmen responded to the girl, I don't give a F who was with who. Don't speak on stuff that involved my kids, simple. Then Carmen says, Danny, thank you for calling and informing my producer about it, but it could have been kept private. Danny responded to Carmen, Carmen, I understand that, but don't try to thank me after you just hyped up a situation for nothing because either way it goes, he was gonna say something anyways. Danny responded to the girl, exactly like, We was going to find out. We was going to find out. I, I I agree on it not being Danny's place, <clears throat> but at least she told her. I would have been happy she told me, but I also would have said, you know, can you not tell the internet? Is what I would have said. If she did tell the internet, then I would have had to address it. Like, with. I could have just sat back and kept my mouth shut. Danny posts, this situation wasn't even going viral until she responded. You had T-Pages discussing, but they were talking about the raffle mainly, not CPS. And if she felt some type of way. And I, I agree with that. That shit about the CPS situation didn't even hit the shade room. It hit the shade room when um Carmen decided to say something. Which means that Carmen want attention too? It's, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, all of them want attention. Every day, because I'm in two algorithms, shout out to God, hello. <clears throat> it is a new situation. Every hour, it seemed like. Everybody's like, I'm going to come to the internet and tell my business. Looking at the T-pages like, we crazy because... uh. I'm going to talk about it. What do we, what? If you put it out here for me to talk about it, you best believe I'm going to talk about it. You understand what I'm saying? But if, as far as I'm concerned, I think all of them want attention. That's just where I'm at with it. So we're going to give it to you. For Carmen to come out publicly and say something, which she could have hit up 
her manager told her manager to tell Danny, hey, can you just stop? You know what I'm saying? Don't say that online. Da, da, da. All right, bet. But you got to go make a public post. It's like you wanted that attention, so you got it. There you are. Wait, she could have had her manager to contact me and we would have deleted, but also handled this another way. But don't get on here acting tough. Carmen responded to Danny. Ma, you mentioned this situation on Facebook. How it didn't go viral until I said something. I said something because it was on the T pages. Okay, I'm done. F you, F Corey, F Boogie, F that CPS case. I don't got to deal with none of this ghetto ish anymore. And this is all happening because y'all should have handled y'all business first instead of hopping from relationship to relationship, bashing each other. Wait, you just figured this out? All this money you got? You should to just let him stay with Maddie. He was no good for you anyway. You saw a little publicity and ran with it, but you got caught in the mix as well. So you got to accept that L. Now, not only was <laughs> Danny getting into it with Carmen, but she also got into it with Big Boogie as well. Now, I don't know why yesterday she chose to respond to the whole 20K situation, but she did. Danny said, never Listen, mind, I guess he's mad. I thought Danny was going to do this for 24 hours. Whoever just said Danny is being ghetto, yes, she is. Danny has entered into the ghetto. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know why Danny is still going. <laughs> well, baby, that's what she doing. Okay. And who going to stop her? All right. Keep going, Danny. Keep going, girl. This is my tax season. I love tax season. I didn't give him the 20K. Big Boogie responded, why you want smoke with me, love? Don't make it deep, poo. Danny posted up a cash app that allegedly Big Boogie received. Danny captioned the cash app. She said, see, this is what happens when you try to get a viral moment. I could go further too, so let's go. The person that said Danny this cash app allegedly exposing Big Boogie, they said, I have multiple cash app him, which they're talking about Big Boogie, telling my trans friend to chill with the posting, him tripping on him not responding, him trying to meet two weeks ago in Atlanta, but my friend was at work, so he made my friend feel like ish only to apologize also have him on the ring camera coming and leaving personal phone number fyi so no denying that or these cash apps now supposedly this random person sent this screenshot to danny she reposted trying to expose big boogie for sending money to quote unquote a trans person so big boogie went live and started going off on danny here's what he had to say Bro, camp. i'm not finna f with that man i'm not i, don't, I ain't on none of that but don't play with me on no game talking about some trans what the f like whatever, what, whatever you got going, nah, nah, whatever you got going, don't play with me, period. Nah, hell yeah, nah, don't play with me, period, love. I don't care, I don't get no f about no money, I got money too. I don't care about all that Facebook ass, sh I don't, I don't use none of that. Don't play with me with none of this, sh don't play with me with none of this, sh on my baby, don't even play with me with none of this. Sh I'm not finna, nah, I ain't, I'm not mad, I'm not bothered. You didn't give me the 20,000. Okay, cool. It's love, love. It's it. I'm. I, I just made that. Shit and went, what? Uh, what I just making two hours, bro, on the road. Ah, uh, okay. Then sit on my ass. <laughs> what you talking Fair. about, love? Don't play with me. Play with that nigga. Don't play with Boog at all, love. I'm gonna be honest. You ain't never pulled up on me. I ain't never pulled up on you. We ain't never. We we would. Come on, love. It was nothing. Sick of it. He calling our love. Nothing but the phone thing, baby. That's all it was. Stop playing with a real nigga, man. Don't play with me, fool. Don't play with me, love. I don't know you. D you talking about a cash app? Hold on, hold on. Let me let Hey, hey y'all, do I got a cash app? Hell no. Oh, okay, then. Did I ever have a cash app? I don't know. I ain't never had a cash app there in my life, man. I, I, get my, I get my people that cash in, in hand, baby. I don't, now I, that I believe. <laughs> I don't play like that, love. That's all I'm going to say. Don't jokes. Play with your or you play with big dude, now. Uh, rightfully so. He had the right to go off. I don't even know. <laughs> then he went from, girl, I was just going to be doing this 24 hours to pulling bug in it. Just everybody. <laughs> so, I don't know what Danny on, but Danny, keep going. No, <laughs> I'm with whatever she went at this point. Because uh, aside from saying he was gay, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know. I have no idea where she got that from. But, you know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.